My name is David Perry. I'm 36 years old and I have cancer. For about the last two years, I have felt ill off and on periodically with illnesses that I'm not familiar with. Um, went to the hospital, was sent to a specialist who saw me and did a biopsy. A week later, my results came back and the results showed that I had cancer. My thoughts were, I'm 36 years old and I may only have a short time to live. He came back with what, what they call squamous cell carcinoma, which I let go for so long it turned into stage three. Everything changed. The reality of, you know, we, we're not immortal. We grow up thinking that we, we, can, we can beat anything and we can conquer everything. But the simple fact is, is cancer doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter how much money you have or where your social standing in life is or if you're male or female or, or what God you believe in. It, it doesn't make a difference to cancer. All you can do is leave it up to God and hopefully God will help you through with some support from your friends and family. Squamous cell carcinoma was, was a cancer I had never heard of in my life and, and asked the doctor, you know, what, what is this and, what, and how do you get this? And the response was tobacco use. He goes, are you a chewer or a smoker? And I said, I kind of do both. And he's like, well, you kind of got cancer from both. From that point, I started to do a little bit more studying on it and it's not life-threatening in the stages that I caught it in, um, but it is a, a long road to recovery and to beat this cancer. My first experiences with tobacco use probably started when I was 14 with, with cigarettes, um, slipping around and sneaking parents' cigarettes out. Um, it really didn't grab a hold of me until I felt like I had an addiction until I was in high school. And in high school from that point, chewing, playing baseball seemed to go hand in hand. Um, after four years of doing that, it kind of stuck around when I went off and played softball. But a can every week and a half to two weeks, um, I never felt like I was a heavy chewer. But as the doctor explained to me, it doesn't matter how many times you do it, you are just susceptible to that particular cancer. Everybody tells you that you're not alone, but with cancer, it's hard. It's hard not to feel alone. That, I think, is the hardest thing to change, is in the back of your mind, you know you have cancer, and everybody keeps telling you, no, you're fine, you're gonna beat it, you're gonna beat it, but they don't have it. That's probably the hardest life change right there, is accepting, the acceptance that I have abnormal cells in my body My days may be numbered, I don't know how long I have, but I know that with what I call my second chance at life, I am definitely not going to waste it on tobacco products or, or even drinking because I don't know when my last day will be. The hardest part is, is now I'm, I'm gonna have to depend on someone else to help take care of me because I physically won't be able to do it on my own for at least the first couple of months. But my, my journey doesn't stop there. I've got to relearn to talk. I've got to relearn to eat and swallow, which I'm being told by the doctors could take anywhere from four to six months to a year for a full recovery. My battle, no matter how I recover, will never be 100%. I will always have a lisp. Um, kind of a speech impediment. Um, due, due to what I enjoy doing for so long, which was tobacco use, has now scarred me for the rest of my life. Shortly after finding out the news, I knew I had to tell my son that uh, I had cancer and what I was gonna have to go through. Um, it wasn't easy. 
It wasn't easy having to tell my son that I uh, had cancer. And for years he told me to stop smoking, he told me to stop chewing. It was constantly, Dad, you gotta stop. You gotta stop, Dad, it's not good for you. I didn't listen to him. So the day I told him, I was like, you were right, Bob. You were right the whole time. I should have stopped. I should have listened to you. I don't think he understands 100% of what I'm having to go through. But unfortunately, he will have to find out the hard way just like me. He'll have to watch it. He'll be there every step of the way. Life's gonna be a journey. It's gonna be up, it's gonna have a lot of ups and downs, but uh, I'll beat it, I'll make it through it.